guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sheila and if you are new welcome and if you are a subscriber thank you so much for subscribing for today's video I am going to be cash stuffing my weekly spending money so I do have four hundred and three dollars that will that I will be cash stuffing today to get started I did switch up some things around and I created new envelopes I decided to use any rollover money or any money left over from each category I decided to create basically like a sinking fund for each of one of my spending categories so that way in case I need money for a category um, I can get it from basically its sinking fund and so I decided that that was a better idea for me or a better thing to do for me so I decided that this is probably best for me because I have so much stuff going on that I need like in case i need extra money i can just get it from these and so i created some envelopes and i did film a video for you guys in case you are interested if you have seen any of my past uh weekly cash stuffing money you know that i already had these envelopes but i decided to create these so each category has its own um envelope and so that way if i have any money left over it's going to go to it's basically its own sinking fund so um if you are interested in how i made these envelopes i will have a video on that and so yeah so we are going to first go over what i spent the previous week see how much money i had left over and then cash stuff for this second week of february okay say february i don't know why um but anyways, I do have, like I mentioned, $403. Let's go ahead and count the money. So um, I have 150, 20, 40, so I have eight dollars. So four hundred and three dollars. And the reason why it's uneven is because I had eight dollars um, that I found. I found a five dollar bill in my husband's um, pa pants when I was like washing his clothes. So I basically stole five dollars from him, and then I had three dollars left over. So that is what we are going to be cash stuffing today. Um, this is like the second second or third time that I have filmed this video. The first time I was not recording. Um, the second time my battery died and I had to replace the battery. So I'm sorry if this feels a little bit rushed or just all over the place. This is not a cash tray. This is a sunglass storage case that I got on Amazon. It does come with a lid that I took out. I just feel like the money fits a little bit more perfectly in here than the other cash tray that i had and so i am going to be using this today so oh and before we get started i am wearing my press on nails that i got on etsy if you are interested i will place the shop name down below and a link and these were ten dollars and so far i have been loving them they are super durable this is the sixth day that i've had them on and they have stayed on pretty well and i'm really happy with them so um i will place the shop name below it is easy press on nails okay, so let's go ahead and get started so for the first category it is groceries so for groceries i did spend 66 dollars and 34 cents at walmart that was a pickup order that i did and then while i was there i went ahead and bought some fruits and vegetables and that was 24 dollars and 83 cents i did spend 49 dollars and 50 cents at publix and then in the middle of the week i um, went to walmart again and bought some other things that i needed and that was 23 dollars and 26 cents so I do have $10 left over. I will be setting this aside for my grocery sinking fund. So now we are going to have $10 in that. So let's go ahead and cash stuff $150 for grocery this week. So I am going to be using all of the $50 bills that I have. So that is 150, 70, and five. So 175 is going to go towards groceries this week so when i first 
started cash stuffing it was 150 dollars and i had to up my budget to 175 next is restaurant so as you can see restaurant is completely empty i did buy or i did um get some food at chick-fil-a and i spent 12 dollars and 31 cents and then at mcdonald's i spent 14 dollars and one cents this was like part of my son's meal and then usually i'll get like either fries or um like a burger i never get like a meal so that is why the amounts are kind of a little bit low and that is how i usually do it so restaurant is going to be getting 25 so household i did not spend any money this week and that is because i basically have everything that i need right now i will be going to the store today and get some things but that is going to be with this week's money so these um 20 um that are in here i'm going to be putting it in the household fund in case one day i need some extra things and i don't have enough money i will get that from the fund so household is going to be getting twenty dollars it used to get 25 but i did or i do have another category in this wallet which is a personal care envelope and that is for anything related to personal care like body wash shampoo um i bought toothpaste last week and i have been trying to coupon find sales um use cash back rewards apps to get the best deals as possible and i think that is why my household sink um not sinking fund but why this category has had a lot of rollover money not a lot but you know more than usual is because i have been trying just to do the best i can with like deals and things like that so next is gas so i did spend all the money well not all the money that was in here but i did have like some extra from last week that i had rolled over so i did spend thirty dollars at a shell gas station and thirty dollars at a bp so yesterday i ended up putting gas in the truck so right now it does have gas i will be keeping these five dollars just because i am driving my husband's truck right now and i am having to put a lot more gas in it so you guys know i am driving my husband's truck because my car basically broke down and we don't know if we are getting it fixed or if i'm getting a new one right now it's in the shop and it's getting looked at we haven't gotten a quote yet so we are not sure what we're gonna do but anyways i'm going to be cash stuffing 55 dollars because it is a bigger truck and it requires more gas so that's why i'm keeping the five dollars in here so now I have 20, 40, 50, 55, 60 for gas this week. And um, we use this, uh, or we have been using the truck on the weekends too. So sometimes, like this past weekend, my husband put gas in it. And that is the reason why I ended up only getting gas yesterday. Um, is because he had already put money in there. So for my spend money, I did spend $6.78 at Michael's. So they were having their Valentine's Day sale. And so I had wanted to get this since the last time that I had gone to the store. And basically, this is just like specialty paper. Um, and I wanted to create some envelopes. I actually did create some with this paper right here. Um, and I wanted to get this last time, but it was for like full price and I just didn't get it. So I waited until they had their sales and I got this on sale and I um, paid uh, $6.78. And that is the reason why I paid $6.78 was because um, my son got some candy and I just went ahead and spent it with um, my money. But because this was actually on sale for 40% off and it original price was $6.99 so I do have some money left over so let's go ahead and count that I have one two three four five six I have six dollars left over from um, spend money but I remember starting the week with some rollover money I think I had $13 in there so I'm just writing down spend that I have six dollars extra so we are going to be cash stuffing ten dollars for my spending and i just love that paper i thought it was really cute i wanted to make some more envelopes and um because i like to switch up my envelopes around 
So next is personal care. So for personal care, I did not spend anything this week. And I am going to be spending or buying something, I think, this week. But I am going to be putting this aside for the personal sinking fund. So I'm going to be setting that aside. And I'm going to be adding five more dollars to this um, category. And I'm sorry if I like keep on flipping the wallet. It just makes it easier for me this way. Next is miscellaneous. So miscellaneous, I um, bought some envelopes from Amazon. So these are not like regular envelopes. These are the um, zip envelopes because if you see my um, challenge videos and my like, um, you would see, not my challenge videos, but like my $1 savings challenge and my $5 savings challenge, they had a different envelope and I like these zippy pouches. It's a pouch, not an envelope. There we go. Um, so I got these zipper pouches um, from Amazon and I spent $6.47 and I have some money left over and so I have one, two, three. I have $3 left over. I will be cash stuffing ten dollars sometimes i forget what categories like what envelopes i made for what categories i'm not sure if i made one for miscellaneous i have to see i think i did so um miscellaneous is getting ten dollars today next is my work um category so i did spend two dollars and 79 cents at the vending machine so i bought a canned coke and I think some gum and so I do have some money left over so I have five six seven dollars left over and I will be placing this aside and putting this in my work sinking fund so I am going to be cash stuffing ten dollars and I have been bringing my lunch to work I have mentioned that I have like 25 minutes to eat lunch so it is very important for me to bring my lunch because I don't like if I walk to go get lunch, I won't have time to eat it. So that's why I basically bring my lunch to work every day because I only have a short time like to eat. So um, Bryson has, um, so I put $10 in there last week and I took the $10 out and put it in the school sinking fund and then got $5 from it and put $5 in here because I knew that he didn't have anything coming up. So I put $5 in here um, from his sinking fund. So um, he didn't use it up this week. So this is going to go back to his sinking fund. And um, I think what I'm going to do is keep these $5 in there and put the $10 that I was going to cash stuff and go ahead and put it in his sinking fund. I mentioned last week that I am adding $10 instead of five because I want to get started on building his sinking fund for the new year of like school to be able to buy his school supplies or school registration and things like that. So um, I'm adding um, five more dollars to his category. So next is our dog Kodak. So Kodak did have some money left over. So I did have, um, I did put $25 in here. So I did spend $17 and 40 cents at Walmart. So I do have $7 left over. So these $7 are going to go to his sinking fund and the extra money that he had, I have already placed in his envelope, um, inside of the pink binder. So we'll go over how much he has in total. So he has $7 left over and he is going to be getting $25 this week and that is for his food and snacks. So $25 for him and that is going to be all for this wallet. I had mentioned that I was going to be cash stuffing my husband's insurance money with mine. I just paid mine. If we cannot fix the car, I'm going to ask for a refund because I just spent $388 on my insurance to cover for the next six months. So if they can't fix my car, I'm going to ask for a refund because I mean, my car broke down and if I can't fix it, I'm not going to use the insurance. So 
Um, but yeah, I had mentioned that I'm going to be cash stuffing $150 a month. And since all the other bills come out of my banking account, um, week, um, not weekly, but whenever they're due, this is a category or this is a bill that I pay every six months. So I'm going to be withdrawing $40 for our insurance every week and I'm going to go ahead and start cashing or cash stuffing it with my spending money um, since this is the only one that I'm going to be doing weekly. So $40 is going to go to our insurance fund and that is in this binder right here. And let's see if I can find our insurance. So $40 I'm going to be adding weekly. So insurance is going to be getting 40. And that is the only thing. Everything else that goes in this binder, it we uh, or I cash stuff it once a month. So let's go ahead and organize this money and cash stuff this into our sinking categories. And let's just go ahead and organize this money. Mm. Basically, probably just fives and tens. And if you are wondering about my ones um, challenges and fives, it all depends on like how much I have in each sinking fund. If I find that I have a lot of money in the sinking fund, I will start pulling for my five and one dollar challenges. I think that's a better idea. Um, so for my work category, so for work I did have was it seven dollars? Seven dollars left over. So $7 is going to go in my work category. So now I have 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, $23. Next is school. So we are going to be adding Bryson's $10. You know what I was thinking? I think I'm missing my $10 entertainment money now that I've, I don't know, I have to wait and check and see. But school now has um, $32. I noticed that any extra money that I've been adding to these categories have been adding up and that's why I decided to make envelopes for the other categories. So like I mentioned, I think entertainment, I forgot to um cash stuff this week i will see how much money i have left over and see so cart maintenance so this is one that i was going to add the eight dollars to um because i even though i don't have a car right now i do want to get started on a car maintenance sinking fund so cart maintenance sinking fund is only going to be getting eight dollars So grocery rollover money was $10, but I think um, I might use some change. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Groceries doesn't have any money left in it, so or doesn't have any. <laughs> 